Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. Hey, a shout out to one of you that bought me three cups of coffee yesterday. Yeah, I'm already on my second cup. Had to make a new pot today. And I also have to give a shout out to one of you that sent in a PayPal donation. Thank you so much. They're currently looking here at the back boardwalk where they got it closed off because the water from one of these new springs here has been, uh, yeah, superheated water been shooting up along the uh, boardwalk there. Yeah. Yeah, the park's not closed. Someone keeps saying that the park's closed. Well, um, there is a delay of about 10, 15 seconds in the live webcam. Um, but as you can see, it is not closed. They are only reporting one earthquake within the last 24 hours. They're saying it's a magnitude 1.5. But it was actually a magnitude 2.1. And those of you that have followed me for quite a while know that um, Hank Hessler, uh, Hessler, however you pronounce it, said about five years ago when they started having magnitude 2 earthquakes, they would become greatly concerned. Well, that's been going on for the last uh, year, I would say. Yeah, increase in earthquakes. Not just here, but around the world. Yeah. I was wondering if you could see any water spurting up here. But I don't. You can see how uh, the boardwalk, maybe right there, has some damage from the heat. Oh, they got some clouds coming in, so we got some shade. Anyways, I have added a different monitor today which would be borehole 944, that's for Grant. Um, Grant has in the past been showing activity where um, they probably got a crack and um, occasionally it tries to come up, up the magma. Um, on the far left is Moose Creek, Idaho. The one next to that is West Thumb, 944 Grant, and borehole 208 for Yellowstone Lake. This is that earthquake as it came in. I don't have, I don't have it right on the signature. There we go. You can see here, yeah, we got some heat coming up. And yeah, some heated water and some heated gases up from this earthquake. That earthquake was at 826 AM today. And let me close this out and I'll bring it down for you. You can see we got a couple more. This might be over there at the sawtooth. Let's look at the seismic signature. Oh, I wanted to go back to the other one. Yeah, tectonic. Okay, let's go back to this one. There was another one shortly afterwards. Um, tectonic. Well, we also got magma movement. Okay, and then we got another. Oh, it went little on me. Another one shortly afterwards. Some tectonic, but mostly volcanic. So I'm going to change that to volcanic. All right. This monitor here is at Grant. That's on the western side of Yellowstone Lake. Yeah, look at those signatures. Let's go to the signature. Yeah, a lot of popping going on. The most recent one that I see marked in red probably would have been yesterday right there and I've talked about how the ground is getting so brittle it's not elastic and because of that yeah we got more popping sharp sharp popping got another one there and now Grant is also over there by West Thumb this is the area that they did their drill for um, an earthquake swarm and a hydrothermal eruption. And this is what it was showing when I pulled the files. You see the line of melt. One, two, and then yeah, down there where it's coming in. 
Got some more stuff going on there. Another little one. So here we have the monitor for West Thumb. During that same time, yeah, we got the uh, popping that was going on. Um, 23.44 Universal. 5.44 p.m. local time. Let's look at some more of that. Yeah, let's look at the signature. See the popping? Okay, the next one on that line. Right there. And there. So we have it on two different monitors. Look at that one. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Let's look at the signature. That's some. Yeah, I got three. You can't. Well, can I make that bigger? Yeah. See, boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, that's a cool little signature. All right. So then we got this one yesterday. It's on all, all the monitors, I believe. Let's check it out. All right, they just reported another one, um, a 1.4, supposedly. Remember this one here. This is actually a 2.1. Okay, what I'm looking for is yesterday. So that would have been at 2.48 uh, local time. You can see it's on all four monitors. Uh, the best signature, again, is Maple Creek, so we'll make that bigger. It's got a bit of a P wave on it. I don't know if USGS screwed up in some way. Um, the closest they got for 2048 yesterday uh, would have been a 3.3 White City, Nevada. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to have to check EMSC because it comes in as a magnitude 5.26. I know I'm not goofing up on that because you can see how long the seismic signature is. It's like, wow. Let's go to the seismic signature. All right, EMSC. Uh, at 2043, there was there in Mexico a 3.6. What in the world is going on? Why would it be that both USGS and EMSC is not reporting that. If you guys find that earthquake at 2048 Universal Time, uh, let me know. How could two of the most major uh, geological companies not be reporting that earthquake? And let me um, make this smaller. And it's on all four monitors. We'll go to the spectrogram. There it is there. And there it is there. And there. Very strange. What do we got going here? Once again, it's a magnitude 5.26. And it's got a bit of a P wave on it. Right there. Um, if I go... I went smaller. I want to cover all my bases here. Let's check that. That was a few minutes before. And we'll bring it over. Yeah, odd. This here is the signature as it came in at West Thumb. Okay, let's make that smaller again. Okay. And we'll go to the spectrogram. You can see it rattled for a while. Hmm. This here's the monitor, the borehole for Yellowstone Lake 208. And I also find that it's so large that it came up at, there at Maple Creek, but yet it's smaller here at the borehole. It did pick it up at the borehole, but it came in smaller. Yeah. This has got me stumped. Oops, I'll have to make that smaller. All right, where am I at? <laughs> I lost my spot. Yeah, the first signature came in at um 20, what did I say, 48? Yeah, 20, 48, and 30 seconds Um, for the first of the P wave. The S wave would be 
20, 48, and 35 seconds. So this would be the borehole. It shows it up really deep here. Yeah. That's a mystery. All right, on to something else. About an hour later, we were getting drum beats. Look at that. And, and again, this is the same borehole. But over here, I wanted to look over here um, at 2056. After that signature came in. Yeah. Let me go back there. Yeah. Um, what do they call these? Tortellinis? Screw waves? It's a really old term. So it used to also be called um, a screw wave. Maybe one of you guys can help me out and find it. But that's what we got going on here. Yeah, look at that. Let's take that and... Yeah, see, that's um, another mystery. I only have one paper saved up in my uh, files, you know. Um, all right, Torlino, Spanish for screw. And it says it played a major role in the heated scientific and public debate regarding whether lives would have been saved had their occurrence been recognized. Low frequency seismic events at a volcano there in West Indies. And it says between two, um, 0 0.2 and 10 hertz. That's what this one is. 0 to 10 hertz. You can see it there on the left. Low frequency earthquakes differ significantly from any other seismic signal on a volcano because unlike tectonic earthquakes, they originate from the boundary between a fluid, such as magma or gas, and the solid surrounding rock. New field evidence for brittle failure of magma was found by uh, Tuffin in uh, 2003 and fueled new interests in studies of a wide variety of phenomena, including flow bands or banding, magma degassing through the cracks, and also triggering of low frequency earthquakes. Well, we saw that on the other monitors. Huh. Yeah, these are not seen very often, and I would say this would be very significant. Okay, let me go to the other monitors. And yeah, I'm just kind of exploring as I'm seeing what's going on. Okay, and that's when we had this popping that was going on. Also, see, it's going small on me. Yeah, okay. Yeah, not good, not good. What's the frequency... Let's see, let's check out the frequency. I have to bring this down. Okay, 1.1 1 .1, or 1.01 1 .01 to uh, 10 hertz. Hmm. All right, and this is the borehole there at Grant. You can see the same activity, but it's been continuous. I don't know how large you can see this, but this has all been continuous at Grant. Yeah, I'm glad I caught that. This is very significant. All right, 2055 is when it actually started. Let's look at the spectrogram. Yeah, you can see boom, 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 boom down here at the bottom. See that at the bottom? Yellowstone has been so showing so many changes, and they're increasing over the last several months. Let's see, yeah, 2055, which would be right there, I think. Oh, little, no, right there. Yeah, and you can see that boom, 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 boom. Let's go to the spectrogram here for this one. And we'll go to the spectrogram for that one. And so we got Grant, we got West Thumb, and this is the borehole for Yellowstone Lake, which is at the northeast uh, or excuse me, the uh, northern end where the uh, Yellowstone River or Yellowstone Lake empties out into the Yellowstone River. And it went on, let's see, let's go over here. And then it stopped. And then it increased again here at 2140. Look at that. Yeah, very significant. 
All right, so let's see what it's doing right now. Because it said, let me close that. Yeah, we'll see, we got it there. Uh, 2309, not exactly the same, but okay, and let's hold on. This is today at 1424 Universal. So that would be at 824 a.m. today. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Again, this is a borehole. You guys that have been following me would know that it's a very deep well. Almost 600 feet under the ground. It's like, wow. Okay, let's look at that. See, you really can't tell until you see the seismic signature. And we'll come. That's not it. There it is again at 1506, which would have been at 906 a.m. Let's come down some more. Yeah, see that right there? Okay, I want it where it's really showing up like it did before. And again, this is what it was showing when I pulled the files. Yeah, I was wondering why. Let me show you. Some of the signatures were coming in. Um, so small on my monitor, you know, like this one down here at uh, Norris Junction. It's like, look how tiny it is. And I got it, I had to crank it up to be at 1,355 magnification because they got it cranked down that you can't see the signature. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for the cups of coffee. Yep, I definitely need more coffee now. Always be prepared for a disaster. I'm going to read that paper and refresh. See what else I can learn. Uh, please stay safe. And I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.